so I'm going to take off the horse's blanket. Always better to do these kind of things when your horse is eating. Well, she behaves without the food. Yeah, but, but they always behave better with the food. <laughs> they're busy eating. They don't really care what you're doing to them when you're they're eating, it so, seems. With my horses, I take off their blanket pretty much every other day, even if it's only for 10-15 minutes, to check for hot spots, which are sores that develop from the blanket rubbing. As you can see with her, she's in pretty good condition. Yep. And I'll be nice and I'll take this one's cribbing collar off for her breakfast. Yes. See this one here, she is the biggest bully when it comes to eating. And she'll push any horse off of her food. So this summer, we're going to be building a barn where all the animals will be having their own respective uh, pens. That way she can't push this one off of her food. Yeah. And the same thing with the goats too. Yeah. Because as you saw, the goats can be a little, a little, a little pushy. pushy and demanding. It's always a fight with them. Yeah. So for... During the first part of meal time, I usually sit here with a lunge whip just to keep Miss Cleo here in line because she's a bit of a bagosaurus. Yeah. You just have to show it to her. Yeah. 